Here is another lung. You could instantly recognize these as being alveoli, although you will admit that these alveoli are infiltrated by uh, inflammatory cells and uh, granular proteinaceous uh, material as well. But you can still recognize the fact that they're alveoli. So this is a pneumonia. We had another case like this a few cases ago. And if you remember, uh, we told you that whenever you see uh, granular, woolly, intra-alveolar uh, exudates, which don't look quite typical for fibrin or fluid or proteinaceous material, and in addition look like they might have little larger, rounder things inside of them like here, that uh, you know the patient probably is an HIV patient and you're dealing with a pneumocystis pneumonia. Uh, you can see that there's another area of this slide in which the amount of uh, exudate and uh, pulmonary destruction is even more prominent, and that's this area here, because in this area you could barely recognize any more pulmonary uh, alveolar uh, architecture as well. But you do see, once again, a lot of uh, inflammatory debris and a lot of this woolly exudate here and here and here. Well, let's say that you took this lung or this slice of lung and you decided to do a methanamine silver stain to see if this woolly exudate would stain for little black uh, bent coins. So let's do that. But rather than wait a couple days for the histotex to do the stain, let's uh, make the, uh, through digital magic, make the stain right now ourselves. Because this is the same piece of lung and you could all already tell, even though it's not an H&E stain, that the lung uh, alveoli are infiltrated by these uh, destructive things. And also notice that many of them look like they have little black uh, dots inside of them, the most intense of which are here. But they're really all over the place here, 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 and here. What do you think that is? Well, the areas where the black exudates are correspond to the woolly exudates. And I hope we could appreciate that. And the black dots inside of the woolly exudate are the actual pneumocystis carinii organisms. So if this was an H&E stain, all you would see here and here and probably here would be a woolly exudate. But now, because we have uh, made a stain on this tissue that is fairly specific for um, or for pneumocystis compared to the rest of the lung, although the stain is also wonderful for identifying fungi as well, uh, we can identify specific organisms and they look like bent little coins. And they stain very nicely here. Uh, they stain lesser nice here, but when you stain a large piece of lung, eventually you're gonna find some areas that look very, very nice. This is a artifact. This is a digital artifact. Um, let's go to another random area that I see is black and find some more of the little buggers. In this area, there may be some, but it's kind of a compressed area, so you can't really see them too well, can you? But you could see three beautiful ones down here in a non-compressed area. You can also see two of them over here. And let's go to another random area. And sure enough, we could see one here. We could see a little cluster here. This is a woolly exudate within an alveolus. And here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe 12 or 13 staining nicely, and maybe twice as many that don't stain very nice. Thank you very much.